Welcome to the course Algorithm Design. So the goal for today is to generate these examples here. And yeah. So uh, we basically start with a rule set. It's kind of listed here on the bottom. And, or we have a rule set that we define. It's basically, uh, it's a binary number that has, uh, it's a, what is that eight bit number or that's our rule set. Then we start with the, with the seed. So we start with some arrangement at the beginning. Um, so kind of, again, binary, uh, like line of cells. And then we evolve the system into the future and we plot it in this case kind of up. And these are some results that we get. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the goal for uh, today. It's basically pattern generation. Okay, so um, yeah, there are kind of different, <laughs> different uh, videos here that you can find. Uh, so a little bit to see how Game of Life this is. This is John Conway's Game of Life. Uh, the Game of Life. Again, I, I think yeah, the sound is not important. Uh, this is Game of Life, or so you would basically start by drawing certain arrangements. Uh, that's this basically your initial seed. And then you would let it, uh, you would let it play out. Let me see if something interesting starts to happen. And these are, ah, this is a glider, okay. And then these are different iterations or, okay, actually here, let's, let's see. So a glider basically goes da diagonally down the screen. Let's see, come on, start moving, okay. Okay, so basically, uh, that's, ah, here it's a bit better. Oh, guys explaining a lot. Okay, maybe the, actually this video is not so perfect, but um, uh, there's some other ones. I mean, again, there's tons and tons of videos out there. Uh, these ones are a bit bigger. Uh, okay, here you can see all the inverted kind of what's sort of happening. Uh, this is, I think, I forgot the name. This is a, like a glider, glider gun. So it's a structure that generates gliders. They kind of go, go down. So it sort of, it like just emits them. Uh, these are two stable parts. And then, okay, we have, a, you know, one gun, <clears throat> or it's almost like a signal. And we have second one here, and we sort of merge them here. Or so in a way you start creating communication um, pathways, or we can create uh, then different sort of structures, different gates. And um, yeah, then there are kind of here, different ones, they come in together and they start assembling. And I think these are some other uh, bigger spaceships or, uh, so you have this kind of sort of production factories. So this is all just, uh, again, same rules. So all the cells have exactly the same rules, how they're up, updated, except that after yeah, many decades of experimentation and a bit, um, yeah, a bit kind of a lot of time, uh, some people kind of, Manage to you know build up complexity enough, or and uh, yeah, Conway called it the game of life because it's how, sort of started to started to kind of remind him a little bit of um, um, yeah, kind of how microorganisms work. And today there is also a lot of research in biology where it became clear that many kind of um, simple uh, single cell organisms they you know they are following maybe you know very deterministic but kind of simple rules but because there's a lot of them and they, they interact uh, you can sort of build up complexity uh -huh, this one is actually printing something and so on okay so there are kind of many many structures you can build i think somebody built like a functioning clock inside yeah but usually when you start with a random arrangement and you let it run you get yeah maybe something a little bit like sort of this so you get kind of a like a soup so that's 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 more common. You need to be a bit careful with how you arrange things in order to get uh, sort of working structures. Okay, good. And of course, in Python, we cannot really, or in Rhino, we cannot really do such large simulations. You would need to have a bit of a custom code, and there's a software out there that you can use. Uh, okay, but that's basically just one solid aut automata model. Or so. Okay, so basically, we need to just define. Um, uh, we need to define a 1D grid. Actually, I have already a working example of this in 
in Python, but I will just try to yeah, code it from scratch with you when I. Um, so we will define these eight rules, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight rules. Um, and um, we will define the starting seed and then we will basically just kind of run the simulation. So we will go each cell by each cell. We will say based on the rule set, based on which one here we hit, we'll basically update the cell immediately on, on, the, on the top. Um, and yeah, that's it. So it should be rather, rather simple. Uh, okay, and we are working in 2D, so we can just go into the top view. We don't need to stress about anything. Okay, now I didn't code already for two weeks, uh, a while, hopefully I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, okay, so I'm just doing some starting import uh, Rhino script syntax as RS and uh, oops, import Rhino dot geometry as RG. Okay. Um, you see file save as, and I'll just save it in there. So I will do it here locally, and you can of course um, I'll upload uh, also these examples online. I didn't put actually any examples yet online because I have way too many now. So I have to uh, maybe sort them a little bit, and I want to put everything on top. Okay. This I will just call um on the one the automata okay i'll just go zero one okay so that should be simple uh there's a grid here and yeah i could actually just leave sort of this uh this grid here we'll have to decide about um display so how are we kind of displaying these these cells so this we can uh this we can decide um yeah usually i would kind of work with some uh with some geometries some blocks that we put in okay but actually maybe we can do that first okay so uh let's put um let's define our blocks here so here in rhino i can just go actually no, i can just draw actually somehow the uh -huh, okay in my rhino kind of everything now shifted because uh, I have a new version and somehow the everything is in the wrong place. Sidebar go on the side. Okay, perfect. Uh, so maybe we draw, uh, just gonna do like a small surface here. Rectangular surface goes from zero. And I think this is one, uh, one by one. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, I will. I will actually delete this. Uh, delete this grid. Oh no, actually, uh, I'll just work in ten by ten. It's just going to be easier here. So let's do it again. So uh, let's define some geometry, uh, some blocks that we can then use for drawing. Okay, it's guys here, and maybe I'm going to shade it. Okay, and I can maybe even change the color of it here. So object display color, maybe it's going to be black. Uh -huh. I can't see it. Okay, shit. Okay, so what this is basically my, um, I can just remove this. Ah, uh, everything kind of moved here. Okay, here, show as surface. Okay, so this is gonna be our one type of cell and the other one is maybe just going to be a rectangle. Okay, so um, let me see. Um, I can go here under edit, block, uh, create block definition. And maybe I just say, here's start. And I'll just call it um, uh, full square, perfect. Now I'll draw a um, second one about from here, about, uh, which is just gonna be a rectangle, uh, 10 by 10. Okay, this is like empty, but I'll still kind of make it into a triangle. Uh, and this I can say edit locks, create lock definition starting here. And this is gonna be empty square. Kind of simple, simple names, perfect, okay. And uh, if you remember there's rs dot, uh, you know, insert block. And then uh, I can either put in block name, so full square then insertion points so i can just put here point we can define a point here 
just as test rg dot um, point three d, and uh, then maybe just put <clears throat> zero 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 zero. So or origin uh, again. Was this rs insert block insert block, which is a insertion point. Uh, then there is scale angle is optional and rotation normal is optional. So the scale needs to go in. The scale is easy because scale is just going to be one, one, one. Okay, actually, I can maybe also put, yeah, should be fine. Okay, and if I just run this, <clears throat> and somehow these meeting controls, I have to move them somewhere. Huh. Oh man. Put it here. Help my. I uh, hope this screen is still being recorded correctly. Stop sharing. Your yeah, screen sharing. Okay. I hope the correct screen is now being recorded. Okay. Uh, so if I run this, here the square is added, and I can change this into empty. And then I'm just getting one square here. Okay. You cannot even see it, but this is a, a rectangle square. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So uh, let me just think a little bit. Um, okay. So let's let's first create um, let's create a seed, uh, meaning this is going to be um, yeah. Let's 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 create a seed. And for the if you want to create a seed randomly, we can import random. Uh, so as I said before, there is no randomness in Solar Automata, but uh, in the the way we iterate, or when we iterate, there is no randomness. But uh, there is, um, you might want to start with a random arrangement at the very beginning. Um, so for that, uh, we can kind of set it sort of ourselves. But I think it's nicer if we um, if you do it um, sort of through a random seed. And I can just say here, you know, seed seed length. Okay, so seed length that means how many. How many uh, iterations we have? So maybe it's let's say put it to fifty. Um, so it's going to be a, a length of fifty, and then I can say you know four, um, maybe n in range, uh, seed length. Okay, so this many times I will do something. What do I do? Okay, so first I will define a point, and the point will first be at the beginning, uh, but. Uh, I'm going in the x direction, y is just staying the same. So these two stay the same. And the first one, we can just put n. But actually, n, just say here, cell size. So there's some cell size. This is 10, or so our uh, my grid is now actually here 10 by 10. So cell size is 10. So the point will have n multiplied by cell size. Um, that's so the point will go kind of tick, 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 they will go toward the right, and then we can insert either an empty square or a full square. So two blocks, and uh, there's the empty, and this is full, and we will decide which one you put in based on uh, based on some random number. So I can just put um, I can put something like um, you know ran an R. Or um, uh, yeah, random number, random number equals random dot uniform. Actually, let's define something. Uh, let's see length. Let's define uh, density. So density is uh, maybe zero point five. So that's a fifty percent kind of density. So I will define random uniform. So random number goes from um, yeah from zero to basically one. And I will say if that number that I got is smaller than my density, then I will add a full square. Otherwise, else I will add an empty square there. Okay, that's that's basically it. Actually, I think I can do this maybe in one go like this. If I have only one liner, it's a bit kind of a shorter. Okay, save. Let's see uh, if I run it. Okay, yeah, I got it. Except um, 
I can actually, I'll just remove the grid also here. I'm a bit annoyed by the grid again. Grid, just remove these ones. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's actually actually remove this axis. Okay, so this is how we start. And um, I will again do this uh, kind of, if you remember, RS dot um, objects by layer. So I'll select all the objects in the default layer. Select them, and these are what just called objects equals all the objects in the default layer. And I'll just say rs dot delete objects. I'll just delete all the objects in the um, all the, these objects I selected. Because if I run this now, I will always get a different result. So, no, okay, okay, and uh, yeah, it should be this different result. And this is how they're generated. And of course, if you remember, this is a bit slow. So I can make it a bit faster by um, here at the beginning and just say rs.enable uh, redraw and I can put this to false. So if I do it like this, you can see that now as I'm running it, I'm getting different iterations of this starting seed. Okay, and yeah, I can change the density. So, for example, put 0 0.1, let's see what we get. I get kind of in average sort of 10% only up here. This is, of course, average. So, if I select it, you can see I get uh, 50 block instances. Okay, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's, there's 50 of them, and five of them are full. So, that's exactly 10, 10%. I can go the other way around. I can put 90% density. So now, most of them are full and then only a few of them are kind of empty. Okay, so I can kind of choose basically, this is just to make my maybe uh, initial pattern maybe a bit more interesting because otherwise uh, I will always kind of get the same, same result. Okay, but 50% is maybe okay. We can start equally. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't have preference toward anybody uh, or any state. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, perfect. So this is a bit kind of compacting. Okay, this is just generating the first iteration. And now we need to, and yeah, uh, actually this is, I just realized that this is fine, but um, we are just drawing these or so now we basically just, we, we just drew the, um, the result, but we didn't save the state anywhere. And that's not good. So we should for sure uh, save, uh, save the state of the iteration. So. We, we have to rewrite this a little bit differently. Uh, so for example, uh, let me actually um, just save this, Let's save it as a different version. I'll just go on and on. Okay. Um, so uh, I want to as well, okay, I need to then rewrite this. Okay, I need basically, I need to basically save information uh, what kind of happened, or is the cell now full, or is it empty? Or, and um, for that, I will just create an empty list, and this list will be basically my my storage. Uh, that's where I will store things. Uh, and let me just think how I call it. So, see length. I can just call it. Uh, yeah, I can just call it. Um, I can call them states, something like that. States. Okay, states is an empty list. So I put this to square brackets, this is now an empty list. And then um, I can say, you know, the state is first empty. If the block that is inserted is a full square, I will say states.append. And then I can choose, I can either put, for example, zero or one, or I can put, um, I can put true or false, or so I can choose. I think I'll work with zeros and ones because it'll just be a bit, easier to see on the screen what happens. I can just append number one to the states. And otherwise, if it's an empty square, I can append zero. Okay, and then in the end, I can just say print. I can print states. So now when I run it, you will see that I'm getting, um, I'm at the same time saving, uh, actually like this, I'm at the same time saving the, um, uh, so now kind of I have the array here that corresponds to, to what is 
to basically what I kind of this uh, the, the states that I drew here. So the first one is full, so I have one. Second one is empty, so I have zero. Then I have full again, one, empty, and then full, full, and so on. So let's see at the very end, ends with zero, and yeah, looks like so. So it's like one, one, zero, one, one, zero. That's how it ends. Okay, so now I have a um, also a states list. Also, I, I kind of decoupled. I have a a decoupled drawing and basically saving of the saving of this of the states. Um, so I have kind of a, these two things a bit separate. Great. And um, and now the next step is to uh, the next step is to rewrite this. Or so now the states need to be rewritten. Or so every every element inside needs to be rewritten. So I will have so here I will just say um, uh, generate starting state, and here I will say iterate. Iterate through states. Okay, so I will iterate through different states. Actually, I can put this print here. And yeah, I have density, and now I have states, and now I need to have also a um, number of iterations. Or so uh, iterations. It's going to be some number. Maybe not to complicate, we can maybe put. Um, uh, let's put 10, might be fast. Okay, so I'll only have 10 iterations for now. And if I say iterator states, that's what I do. I say four, and uh, we can again choose the number or choose the iterator. Maybe it's I, E, I in range. Um, and in range of iterations. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 times. Now I is my state. And now, uh, now this is not enough. Uh, I have to basically go through every state in the states, or so for state in states. Uh, so I have a nested loop, or so for every iteration, I'm kind of up updating the whole, the whole string or the whole seed here, the whole line. And additionally, I have to basically go one by one, up, 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 and I have to basically choose depending on this state and depending on the neighbors, I have to choose basically how is the next one created, okay? Um, and iterator states, here I can say something like new state equals empty, okay? So there's some new state that is created. This state is at the beginning uh, empty and that's that's gonna be my my up, updated state or the next state. I can just call it new or next, new state, next. Next state, okay. So that's the next one in in him line. This state. Um, so when I go when I iterate through the states uh, list, I will get um, whatever comes out. I say store it in the state variable, and this will be a number. So this will because here we have numbers. Uh, I will have either one or zero. Or so I need to define the rules now. I can put it also here define eight rules. And again, just to point out, maybe I can have this PDF here, I actually have a PNG here. So I'm, I basically now need to define, uh, define these rules or so, and there's, again, there's only eight, eight of them. So there's tick, 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 and we can maybe just, we can just directly replicate this one here. Why not? Um, yeah, let's just directly replicate this one here. Okay. so. The first state is basically um, 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 the first state is the, um, so the the state of the current um, uh, the, the current state is um, uh, zero, so it's empty, and the both neighbors, both left and right, are empty as well. Uh, so they are both zero. Or so if I'm kind of in Rhino, define eight rules. Uh, I can say, you know, if state equals zero, and I start now to concatenate or end, and then I have to, uh, actually, I just realized that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just think something, I have to maybe redefine a little bit this. Mm. 
Okay, okay. Uh, actually, uh, to make it a bit easier, I have to maybe do it a little bit differently. Or so I can say something like, uh, this is I, and I can kind of reuse this maybe. Uh, I could just call it X. Uh, just call it X. Okay, no, it's actually S. Let's put it X. I have to just rewrite this a little bit. Length of states. Actually, this I already also know. There's a seed length is this number. Okay. Okay. Seed length, and then here I can say you know a state equals um, states X. So I have to just rewrite it a little bit so that uh, I can access. So I have the current state, and I have um, you know left state, so left neighbor is the, you know, X minus one. That's the one that is left for me. And I have the right state. Again, I could probably rewrite this a bit nicer, but I just want to uh, write like this so that I know exactly what's kind of happening, okay? Uh, so I have a current state, that's the, um, position X, then I have a left state is the um, uh, um, state that is on the left, and then the right state is the state that is on the right. Now I have to handle maybe immediately here, um, I have to handle the exceptions. So obviously this doesn't, this doesn't exist if I'm at the first one. Or, so I can say something like, you know, if X equals zero, then, um, then this doesn't exist or so I have to be a bit smart how to do it if x equals zero uh, then let me just see if uh, okay so if x equals zero then this cannot be then I have to just choose basically you know how do I choose the neighbor from the left of this this guy here I have to have a convention and I can maybe, well, I can either choose that neighbor to have to be the same as the one, for example, on this side, uh, or yeah, I can maybe also do that. Let me see. Okay, left state equals states minus one. Oh, that's going to be the uh, left state is going to be the last state here. So it's going to wrap, wrap around. Uh, Otherwise, left state is basically this x minus one. And I have to have the same conditional for, I can say, if x uh, equals the seed length minus one, then I have one thing is happening. Otherwise, okay, so I'm just handling these exceptions here. Um, if x equals seed length minus one. So if I'm kind of here, then the right state is the first state. The one on the right will be, the one on the right from this last one will be the first one here. So I can just imagine as if this is wrapped into a, into a tube. Uh, and yeah, otherwise it is some x, x plus one. So it's always going to be one on the right. Okay, so this is exception. Uh, this is exception uh, handling. I can maybe just merge all these like this. This is like uh, defining uh, defining neighboring states with with exceptions. Okay, then I have define eight rules. Okay, now this is a bit easier because now I just have if state, um, so I have the uh, original state and I have the left state equals zero and I have the right state equals zero. Uh, notice again, I have to use this notation. I have to use this, uh, I have to use this double, double equal. Uh, that's a bit, uh, that's just kind of, as you remember, cannot use equal because that's assignment and double equal is a uh, test of equality. That's just how it is. And I basically, con I can just make this, uh, just compress this. So it's a bit, 
and you can see better on the screen. Okay, so uh, I have um, uh, now. I basically define what happens for uh, what happens for uh, this rule or this rule here. If both the current state is um, zero and the left and the right are zero, then I kind of have a solution. But I just realized that uh, there's something else that I need to add. So I can then just say, you know, I can say new state. Uh, this is next state. No. This is next states, okay? So I can say next state, just be, <laughs> uh, let me just see. Uh, actually next states, uh, let me just think of it. Um, <clears throat> I go one by one. So I can say here next states uh, dot, append and then I could choose you know either to put well in this case I would put zero here but um, I want to define roles a little bit better mm, actually let's first actually do it like this and then I'll show you how to do it even 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 better so let's just try to replicate uh, whatever is here define it roles if the current state is zero left state is zero and the right state is zero then the next states append zero as that's this next states here. Um, and now we have to do this for all eight conditions. Again, it looks like a lot of writing, but um, we just have to be careful kind of how we label everything. I'll just make it bigger like this, so, okay. Again, if you would have more conditions, then maybe doing it like this would not be the best way to find a bit smarter way to do it otherwise we have to but here we can literally write out every state uh, one two three four six seven eight okay uh perfect and now we just have to be careful uh so what is the second one the second one is full full okay so here we would say if the current state is one left state is one and the right state is one then uh, we are uh, putting an empty there. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, then just put it like this a bit. Don't know which ones are passed. One, one, one. Okay, next one is uh, one, zero, zero. Okay, so it's like one and then zero, zero. And the one that we get is the full one. So we put one here. Again, the order here doesn't really matter, but um, I just want to uh, just want to make sure that I do everything sort of correctly. That uh, otherwise, uh, one, two, three. Okay, and here this one is flipped, or so it's zero, one, one, uh, zero, and then here we have one, one, and then what do we put in zero, one, one, and then we put one in here. Okay, perfect. Next one, uh, then we have one on the left. Um, and okay, so it's, um, uh, sorry. Uh, so the right one is, okay, the one on the left is one. This is zero, this is zero. And we put, what do we put? Uh, one in here, okay. Next one, the opposite, one on the right is full. Up, 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 this is one, and here we have one. Perfect, and now there's just two left at the very end. Okay, so um, the one on the right is empty. The one on the right is empty, this one is full, full, and here the next state is uh, empty. Perfect, and then the last one is um, the one on the left is empty. Left is empty. Empty, this one is one, this one is one, okay. And then the result is full one. Okay, perfect. So now we kind of hard coded it, but that's basically, that's basically it. Um, we will, we will, um, we'll rewrite these rule sets a little bit differently. I'll show you later how. 
to make it a bit more convenient because now if I want to change the rule set, I have to go here and change like 001, but you can do this a little bit in a more compact way. Okay, but that's now, we basically get the next state here. Great. And uh, okay, next state here. So this next state should be filled up now, uh, but that's not enough for so now, um, they're just all changed. And here in this hierarchy here, we have to actually draw it or So the same thing that we're doing here. Um, uh, um, same thing that we're kind of doing here. We have to kind of basically draw it here. Or, okay, we have to be a bit careful how we do it, okay? And here I just say, uh, draw next date. Define. Generate starting, and here I just say draw next state. Okay, so here you have to be just a bit careful. We go n seat length, uh, and then here the point is okay. This is correct, but um, the number of iteration will tell us the y coordinate. Or so it's going to be n times cell size. It's actually going to be i times cell size, okay? And then uh, this random we don't need, but we basically just say um, this we also don't need. Um, just to be careful a bit here. We have to say um, <clears throat> we have this next state or ah, okay. This we don't need. This we don't need. Um, we have, you have to just check. So if um, if next states and then uh, the coordinate n equals one, then add the full square. In any other case, which means that this uh, this number is zero, you will add an empty square. Okay, and the point is just created here. Um, uh, additionally, uh -huh, I have to just be careful again. There, n is here. I is here, okay, and this is X. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, next states. And uh, yeah, and this is great, but we need to in the end, so let me actually see what happens if we just run this. We'll probably not get the correct result. Yeah, we didn't get the correct result because uh, we are always using the, the same state as the start. Uh, so we have to kind of, do this flip here, or so in theory you would say, uh, you know, now you would say here, uh, you know, states equals next states. Uh, this might work. Okay, yeah, this is it. And uh, I'll just increase a bit the number of iterations. So iterations 10, maybe 100. Okay. And uh, maybe we reduce a bit the density down to mm, 30. Ah. Uh, the density somehow didn't seem to. One. Okay. <laughs> somehow it's very grouped up. Uh, yeah, it's kind of works. It just, um, okay, no, yeah, it's, um, hold on. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the, that's the result, but this rule set is maybe not, so that's basically uh, this rule set here. And yeah, it's a little bit, <laughs> it's a bit hard to see the, at the background. So I, I'm just gonna do something a little bit in the preview here. I'm gonna put uh, appearance, colors, background, it's gonna to go to black. Um, yeah, uh, it's gonna to go to black, okay. Okay, so now it's maybe a little bit easier to see sort of what's, um, what's happening. I now have kind of the inverted, uh, inverted of what I have, uh, of what I have uh, here. And uh, yeah, the last thing that I wanted to do here, so this is already kind of good. I get kind of different different results. Start from the bottom, close to the top. 
uh, but I want to change the rule set. I want to change the rule set, and this will just do the third one. So I'll just just change the state, define eight rules, draw an X state. Okay, save us, uh, slow as a matter free. Uh, I want to define different rules. So he, basically, my rule set is here: zero, zero, one, 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 zero. That's my oh, and then one. That's my rule set. But I want to define it a little bit differently. So maybe I can say there are iterations, and I can say a rule set. Okay, rule set, and I'll define a rule set as a as a list, or so uh, these numbers that I have here. So I can, for example, put. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I can just copy these numbers. So zero, zero, one, one, one. Uh, so four times one. So it goes zero, zero, and then four times one, 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 and then <clears throat> zero, one. Okay, so this is now my rule set that is written a little bit in a compact way. And I have to just load it in. Or so I, I can go from here, rule set here, and I can say, okay, whatever the number, where the rule set for zero is, put it in here. Okay, so I'm just using this rule set as a, as a list to load the numbers in. Or so instead of just putting a directly number in, I'm loading the, um, yeah, loading the value from the from the list. Or so I'm a bit smarter how I do it. I go one by one. So I'm here calling, of course, the indices, six, and then here, seven. Okay, so um, yeah, whatever the first number is, goes in here, second, third, fourth, and so on, all the way to the eight. And now I'm just focusing on this one here, or this is my rule set. And if I run it, um, I can just change the rules directly here. So for example, let's try to create, um, yeah, let's maybe create this guy here, or so this would be, Zero, so I'm just looking at the top one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, and then one, one, zero, zero, okay. One, one, zero, zero, okay. So just change a little bit how the rules work, but if I run it, I should get a completely different, completely different result, okay. Let's actually go back, uh, let's go seed length 100 and, um, Iterations maybe 200. So let's do it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's now the, that's my result. And this is, I, I'm not 100% sure, but this, I think this, actually, I'm not sure if this one is chaotic. Yeah, I'm not sure actually if this one is chaotic or not. Yeah, I think this one is chaotic. One of these is uh, chaotic. Or, so it's these ones here. And uh, yeah, let's try this one here as well. So this is like zero, zero, one, zero, same one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, and then one, one, zero. Aha, look, it's just, it's just, uh, just the last one is changed, I think. And just this one changes to one, and we will already get a very different, very different result. Okay, I think this one is now, I mean, it's not random, it's pseudo, pseudo random. Or, so if you would, for example, take a column somewhere here uh, and you would realize that um, I think in this case, you sort of basically, you basically get a pseudo random generator. Or, um, when I say pseudo random, it means that it's uh, deterministic and the seed is sort of, at least in this case, fixed. It's not fixed, it's kind of some seed that you can read out. And it's a deterministic generation, but it seems like um, the period, there's no period or period is very, very long. So it will start to repeat eventually, but, um, but yeah, maybe not in a very, very long time. So this is basically can be used as pseudo random generator. So this seller automata here maybe falls into, again, if I go back to the lecture, um, just go to the lecture again. Um, there was the cut categorization here, so-called Lang Langton's lambda parameter. Uh, so maybe this one that we generated 
here. Uh, this one might fall into chaotic. So it's here. Um, the one that we had before. So that was uh, this one here is maybe that actually looks more like periodic. I'm not sure how Wolfram uh, kind of categorized these ones, but this one is for sure periodic or maybe even fixed. Who knows? Periodic for sure. Random, even though there's like a boundary here. And uh, yeah, this one, I'm not sure exactly how he categorized this one. But this one would be chaotic or complex. It's hard to say. Okay. But basically, now we can change the size and you can change the, um, uh, yeah, you can change kind of the number of iterations. That's basically the height of this column and uh, sort of, you know, going left and right. And uh, I mean, these rules, they stay fixed, or at least these uh, relationships stay fixed. It's just the rule set. Um, basically, all of this stays the same. The, you can change the cell size, but that doesn't really change anything. Uh, just the kind of this, the size of your drawing. Uh, this is the height. Oh, no, this is the height. This is the width. The density is sort of the starting. And uh, the rule set is basically what's doing the magic. Or so this, uh, this basically binary string. Uh, binary number uniquely defines this seller automata um, kind of rule set and defines basically how the pattern will look like. And then the random numbers at the very beginning kind of influence a little bit um, how, yeah, how it will kind of turn out. So let me actually save this rule set. Uh, and I can actually give you also these files. I can just upload them. Maybe I want to just quickly save it. Uh, Let's see what happens if I just uh, just add one here. Let's run this. Okay, so I get the completely periodic behavior. So maybe go back to zero here. Maybe we flip this one. This is one, this is zero. Let's see now. So again, there's only two to the power rate. That's 256. Oh, okay, this one looks, there's something interesting happening here. Okay. This one looks kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, again, Wolfram kind of realized that as if there's 256 of these, then you can sort of, uh, you can just uh, flip this one and this one here, then you can literally just map them all out and categorize them, like a little bit of a classification of them. Aha, uh -huh, this one is very periodic. That's put this one zero, this one one. Okay, <laughs> uh, not really interesting, nothing really interesting happened. Okay, that's actually, it. that's what I wanted to show you. I'll put this online.